The restaurant industry was first disrupted by the pandemic and now they're struggling with inflation. It's a one two punch that forced one restaurant in Santan Valley to close its doors permanently. Stephanie Olmo caught up with them. She joins us live with more. That's right, guys. Chicago Dog House has been in business for just over two years, and most of the time that they've been open has been spent trying to overcome different obstacles that they never saw coming until they just couldn't do it anymore. Something's wrong. Something has to be done. When Chris Norman opened his hot dog restaurant, Chicago Dog House, July of 2019, he never thought he'll be closing what he's worked so hard for just two and a half years later. This was our own money. Uh, we didn't hire people to come in and decorate and paint. We did that ourselves. We opened that restaurant through our own blood, sweat and tears. Chris says just like so many others, they've struggled in the beginning of the pandemic, but then came along issues like inflation and staffing shortage. We're up against just over the last two months, um, tremendous rise in costs, uh, tremendous shortages of supplies, uh, employees couldn't find people to work. According to a report from the National Restaurant Association, 96% of restaurant owners experienced supply delays or food shortages last year. President and CEO of the Arizona Restaurant Association, Steve Chukri, says despite some of the challenges during the pandemic, many restaurants are doing well and hopes things will continue to get even better. While the recovery has been good, uh, it has been hamstrung by, by a severe and serious labor shortage that I hope will start to correct itself by mid to late summer here in Arizona. Uh, as well as supply chain issues. As for Chris, he's still saddened over what he felt pushed to do. Countless thousands of customers that stood behind us during all this and supported us. And now we're just gone. As of now, Chris does not see himself going back into business, but may consider, reconsider in the future if he sees some changes. Reporting live tonight, I'm Stephanie Olmo, Fox 10 News.